Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to Siberia. Uh, we're currently back at the hotel where we originally met Helena, who we had to take with us to meet the crazy stalker dude <laughs> who was obsessed with her and her singing. He tried to trap us in there, and then we escaped. And he might be dead, actually, now that I think about it. And do I feel bad? Probably? Question mark? But, you know what? We've got things to do here. It looks like it's like... I don't know if... I didn't notice this before, but it's uh... Oh, hello. You okay, Oscar? Still in one piece? Humor is a concept outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. You should know that by now. Oscar, come on, quit crabbing. We got out of that dingy city safe and sound, didn't we? And even with a certain style, I might add. Style is the right word. <laughs> hey, what are you doing on the platform? That's not like you. I wanted to take a little air and dust away the cobwebs from my joints. This salt wind is terrible, though. I think it would be wiser to return to our nice warm train. Get a life, Oscar. <laughs> you know something, Oscar? Despite all our mishaps and your grating personality, I think I'm going to miss you. Why? Are you leaving us, Kate Walker? Yes. Whoa. When I found Hans oh, Barlberg, okay. I'm going to have to go home to New York. That's your decision, Kate Walker? Oscar, can we get going now? Really, Kate Walker? First, we have to wind up the train's mechanism. Of course. What was I thinking of? Right away, I'm on the case. Oscar, the wind has dropped. Maybe you can come with me. Kate Walker, a high-precision mechanism like myself has a built-in aversion to sub-zero temperatures. I hope the train wasn't damaged in the explosion. Do not worry, Kate Walker. I checked that everything was in order. You really do think of everything, Oscar. I do not think of water sports, Kate Walker. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually pretty funny. The weather has changed since my last visit. The wind has dropped, and it has started snowing a little. I was not fortunate enough to accompany you on your first visit, Kate Walker. You abandoned me to who knows what horrible fate in that creepy factory. Oscar, do you know something? You're changing. You might not notice, but you are. Change is outside the scope of my functionality, Kate Walker. What's interesting is like... She See did, you around, Oscar. She mentioned the I'll weather. I'll be waiting for you, Kate Walker. And I noticed that too when we got off the train that it's like... I don't know how much time is passing like I don't I don't know how much I don't know how much time is passing it's really what the hell I do want to go in and see if Helene is okay so trains all wound up Oh yeah, look at this. It's all iced up here. I don't suppose there'd be anywhere. Yeah, no. Mr. Felix, sir. What can I do for you, ma'am? Oh, I want to ask about Helena. I never thought that I'd travel so far away from home. You're still young, ma'am. Open those big brown eyes of yours and see the world. My eyes have never been so open, Mr. Felix. Well, I'm going to hit the road again. Uh, would it be too much to ask where you're going? Who can say? Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miss Walker. There's no way you could help me in my research, is there? Once upon a time, but today, no way, Jose. <laughs> Jose. 
This might seem a little indiscreet, but I think that Hans Varlberg stayed here once, and I'd like to know if you've heard anything from him since. It's not house policy to talk about the comings and goings of its clientele, but I will say that I have indeed not had the pleasure of doing dealings with Mr. Varlberg since he left the hotel a long, long time ago. It's a real shame that there aren't any guests at your hotel. We had our moment of glory, but now it's all in the past. That's all. Doesn't it make you sad? Why should it? Once upon a time, I met the greatest of the great. Now I got my memories. Sweet memories. Hmm. Goodbye, Mr. Felix. You haven't changed your mind, then. I could do you a good deal on the royal suite. Thanks very much, but I really must be going. Well, I'm going to go see if I can talk to, uh, Elena. I guess she could probably be out there, but I'm just going to check these other areas as well. Yeah, my glass is still missing. <laughs> Let's see if the two weirdos are still by the tub. Yeah, they are. They've been there a long time if there's snow on the ground. It's a little suspect. Let's go out and see if she's out there then. I don't need to do that again. What? Oh, is it because it's cold now? Oh, I guess. Oh, what the hell? I don't see her. She's not here. Unless she's down at this little... ...subsection that we saw a long time ago. Whoa! What is this? Uh... That's interesting. I can't do anything with it. But that looks like it was probably built by someone that we're looking for. Maybe he's here. But I don't know where anyone else is. I don't think they'd be in the closet. <laughs> Or go if she's not going to be here, but it looks like Hans Hello, might Oscar. be here. Hello, Kate Walker. Oscar, I think everything's ready. We can go now. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we can start the engine and get going. I'll be circulating shortly to punch your ticket. <laughs> Give me a break, Oscar. Miss Walker! Miss Walker! Wait, wait! What? Don't go yet! Mr. Felix, 
what's the matter now? Has something happened to Madame Romansky? No, no, not at all. Our favorite diva's fine and dandy, but there's a package for you at the reception. I said to myself, I said, Felix, maybe she's got to have it before she goes. A package for me? But that's impossible. But it's got Miss Walker written on it, clear oh. as day. Okay. Why didn't you tell me about it earlier? It's only just arrived, like. Oh, and, well, who delivered it? Um, I don't know. I just took my eye off reception for a moment. The game was on, you see. Oh, yeah, and, sure. And there it was, on the counter in reception. Uh, come and get it. Okay. What the hell? Things are never as they seem. Oh, right here. Was that there before and I just never noticed? It's totally possible. Whoa. You know what that is? It's an automaton. No! Oh! Hello? What the hell are you up to, Kate? Mr. Marson, please, do try to understand. Understand? What I understand is this. No! One, our main client is ready to drop the whole caboodle if the deal isn't tied up in the next 24 hours. Two. This is going to cost the firm multi dineros. And three, I made a serious error of judgment trusting you with this case. That's what I understand. I know it doesn't look like it, but... No buts, Walker. You're looking for a senile old creek and you're making heavy weather of it. You know, he isn't as senile as all that. He's got this creative streak. Look, drop the mumbo-jumbo. I don't want excuses. I want... I've got to go, Mr. Marson. I think I'm onto something. Oh, he seems really nice. I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Hello, reception here. Felix Masana at your service. Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Yes, she's right here in front of me, ma'am. Immediately. Please, be my guest. Uh, Miss Walker. Madame Romansky would like you to join her at the hotel bar as quickly as possible. I'm going. Okay. I just want to check this. So what is this exactly? Oh, I, can we not just look at these? Guess not. So, let's go. She wants to see us at the bar or the lounge, she said. Madame Romansky, you wanted to see me? There you are, my dear. I wanted to talk to you before you leave. I didn't want you to get the wrong idea. Despite our mishap in Konkosgrad, I'm very grateful to you. You helped me to forget my life here and this dead beach where I stroll up and down all day, getting more and more bored. So much the better. Time passes so quickly. One day you are at the peak of your glory. You think it is going to last forever. And then one day the bubble bursts and you are washed up and forgotten. Madame Romansky, don't be so gloom and doom. It doesn't suit you. And if there is no one left to help you out, you start to sink. Sink into a long, dark winter. Perhaps you should rest now. We've had a trying time. It's been emotional. You must be tired. When I returned here, Hans gave me such a taste for life. He too was ill. Oh, he coughed. He must have spent too long at the factories, breathing in their smoke. 
and then he was better, and he left. And I stayed with my memories. Hans Vorarlberg? Hans Vorarlberg was so full of joy, so carefree. He was a little simple of spirit, of course, as they say. He was a child, a child who made fantastic toys. I think that maybe I loved him. God alone knows where he is today. The plane with the hotel supplies has arrived. Maybe you should take a walk outside. I don't understand. I am old. I am tired. I have been very pleased to meet you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, James. Do look after Madame Romansky. That is all I ever do, miss. May fortune follow your every footstep. The snow is a good sign. Really? The snow chases the wind away and covers the salt and sand on the ground. The air becomes purer and still. Ideal conditions for a constitutional. Great. Thanks for everything, James. So she's saying to go take a look at that plane outside again. Not knowing that I've already seen it, but... She's telling me to go out there for a reason. Oh. Oh, wait. Good morning, sir. Mr. Vorlberg? Hans Vorlberg? You've brought the train, then. Oh. That's good. Mr. Vorlberg, you have no idea how pleased I am to meet you at last. I'm Kate... Where is Anna? Your sister has passed away, Mr. Vorlberg. I am sorry. Truly sorry. Ah, okay. Oh. Otherwise, it's Anna who would have come, right? Not you. <laughs> I guess you're right, Mr. Varlberg. My name's Kate Walker. I... Kate Walker. Okay, I'm going away on the train. A long way away. Where's that? That way. Siberia. Siberia. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Varlberg. I've been ordered to tie up the buyout of your factory in Valadilene. It's, uh, my job, you understand. Anna told me. The automatons. That's over now, isn't it? Mr. Varlberg, the factory belongs to you now, and I need your signature to tie up the deal. Okay. Then I'm going away on the train. Here's the sales contract. I'll give you some time to look it over. Your sister already agreed to the terms. All we need now is your signature. What? You've signed just like that? Without reading it? I can't read. I don't know how to. Oh. In that case, I'll read it for you. No, it's okay. Leave it. I've got to go away on the train, Kate Walker. As you wish, Mr. Varlberg. And let me wish you a very pleasant journey. Yes? Listen, Walker, I've decided to send over some backup. No need, Mr. Marson. What do you mean? Hans Varlberg has just signed. Everything's hunky-dory. Are you saying that... Yep. That Vorlberg Manufacturing is now the exclusive property of the Universal Toy Company. But... <laughs> that's great news. Good work. Excellent work, Walker. A real masterstroke. I knew I could count on you, Kate. I congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Right. Now get back here as quick as you can. I want those papers on my desk tomorrow. My secretary will organize a meeting with Universal Toys immediately. You'll no doubt want to hand over the contract yourself. And now that I think of it, I've got no one on the Schwann Airport case. Big trial coming up. A real opportunity. The job is yours. My little way of saying thank you, Kate Walker. You're too kind. You have a great career as a lawyer ahead of you, Kate. See you tomorrow. Well done again, and don't lose those papers, huh? Now that would be the dumbest thing 
<laughs> sure. Real dumb. Kate Walker? Yes, Mr. Varlberg? Are you coming on the train too, Kate Walker? Uh, no. That really wasn't in the plan. But thanks for offering. This adventure's all over for me now, Mr. Varlberg. Too bad. Silly, really. You don't like adventure, do you? I don't really... I mean, maybe there's... <sighs> it's not easy to say. Yes? I have to go back to New York. They're waiting for me there, you understand? I understand. The plane. It's going to New York too, maybe. Maybe. I suppose I'd better go find out. Yes. It's more sensible, maybe. See you later, Kate Walker. Yes. See you later, Mr. Varlberg. That's really cool. Uh, <laughs> oh man, what a cool little story that was. Oh man, I have to say like, you know, over the past, I don't know how long it's taken, six, seven, eight hours, whatever, to play through this, um, I really enjoyed, I, I, I just enjoyed my time with it. Like, you originally, so you start out and you're chasing this Hans Vorlberg guy. You're trying to find him, trying to find him. But really, what's happening is you're trying to find yourself. That's what's going on here. Is that Kate starts out as kind of like this, yeah, she's this lawyer. She's kind of this goody two-shoes, does what everybody wants, and just gets pushed around by not only her boss, but her friends and her fiancé and everybody. And then she comes out here to the middle of nowhere and she starts to develop these relationships with people. And she starts to find out things about herself that she didn't really know existed, right? She gets a little bit more confident and she uh, she's focused on the task at hand and she's like a go-getter. And um, she ends up, ends up that all these things back home kind of start falling apart. And she's starting to think like, do I even really want to go back to that? And... It's it's sad because, yeah, all these things fell apart, but I think, you know what? I don't think she cares. I think she's like, I'm going on this adventure right now. Like, this guy, he's basically following his dream, right? He wants to go, and he's still looking for these freaking mammoths. Like, of all the things, there's just these mammoths that have maybe possibly still existed, right? And uh, he he's going to look for it, and she was going to go home back to her New York comfy life and probably... You know, obviously end things with Dan, but you know, she's gonna get all these promotions at work and get all these new contracts. But at the last second, just before she goes, she decides, Nope, I'm going with Hans and I'm going on this adventure. And she's kind of totally changed who she is. And it's funny because she mentions at the end to Oscar and she goes, Oscar, you've changed. She's like, No, I haven't. She's like, Yeah, you have, but really, she's the one changing. You know, it's almost like all of. I don't know what that did. It's almost like all of these uh, conversations that have been happening over the past little while were basically about her. 
Like the way that all these different people look back on their lives, like you talk to the old lady, um, you know, just the different people she's met and like, ah, it's just interesting. I really enjoyed this. I don't know if anything's going to happen here or not. Doesn't look like it. But I just wanted to say, guys, I know that this is like, this is a totally different game for, for not just me, but I'm sure for a lot of you guys. And I just wanted to uh, extend again my thanks for your support on this series and just kind of showing that like, even something weird like this uh, still has um, application in today's gaming world because it's so different. There's there's no killing, there's no, like it's just totally different for me at least. And uh, I just want to say thanks for uh, hopping along the ride and I just hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time.